here is oxidation and reduction so oxidation is nothing but loss of electrons and the gaining of electrons is called as reduction let's see both oxidation and reduction so it is loss it's gain so here is the index on an overall i'm going to talk about the entire oxidation and reduction here this is called anode and this is called cathode and this is called salt bridge and here is the electrolytes so here is a typical example of oxidation reaction so example for electrolysis Here is a real time example of the zinc reaction. Let's see further on the oxidation reduction now. So besides reduction some extractions are based on oxidation particularly for nonmetals. See a very common example of extraction based on oxidation is the extraction of chlorine from brine. So chlorine is abundant in seawater as common salt. A typical example of chlorine water, salt water, that's it. Chloride a chloride ion mix with water it will give you the hydroxide ion hydrogen and chlorine the Gibbs free energy delta G theta for this reaction is plus 422 kilojoules when it is converted to E theta using delta G theta is equal to minus N into E theta into F we get E theta is equal to minus 2.2 volt. Naturally, it will require an external EMF that is greater than 2.2 volt. Here you have to see the chlorine is obtained by electrolysis, giving out hydrogen and aqueous sodium hydroxide. So, but the electrolysis requires an excess potential to overcome some other hindering reactions. Obviously, it will be there. So, the chlorine is obtained by electrolysis giving out hydrogen and aqueous sodium hydroxide as byproducts. So, electrolysis of molten sodium chloride is also carried out. But in that case, a sodium metal is produced and not sodium hydroxide. As studied earlier, extraction of gold and silver involves leaching the metal with chlorine. This is also an oxidation reaction. Your silver converted to silver ion, gold converted to gold ion. So here is the typical example of zinc reaction. The metal is later recovered by displacement method. So gold with a cyanide and water plus oxygen will provide you gold cyanide ion with a hydroxide ion. And you got your gold cyanide ion react with the zinc to form gold and zinc cyanide ion. In this reaction zinc acts as a reducing agent. That's it about oxidation reduction. Thank you.